in this video we will solve a binary tree problem and uh, in this tree we have just one and zeros so all the values are either zero or one so this is not just a binary tree but even the numbers are binary and here we have to prune some of the trees so by prune we have to chop chop those branches or chop the entire subtree rooted at that node so we have to chop or prune multiple such subtrees from this original tree so uh, if any subtree so this is root node and there are many children and this is binary so at max two children and if let's say this is zero this root node and all its nodes are zero and this may be part of a bigger tree so we have to prune this entire tree we have to remove cut this entire subtree from the original tree and we will have multiple such subtrees we have to remove all of those but let's say if we have some uh, node coming from root which was one then we have zero then we have zero zero and this side we have one so we cannot chop out this entire tree since there was a one here at this point so this entire subtree cannot be pruned but if you go further you see that this subtree has only zeros so this can go away but this will remain so this will be converted to 0 1 0 and 1 so the same way let's see it formally on a bigger example so this is the root and the function is prune tree I am writing pt here and we pass root node pointer to root node and it returns a node pointer so by node I mean tree node so this uh, node will have as usual left a pointer to left a pointer to right and a value these three values so how we can do it so uh, first I would say that if you know how to write uh, a traversal of a binary tree uh, recursively be it pre-order post order or in order if you are familiar with traversals and you know how to write them recursively you are good to go that is the prereq for this understanding this lesson so you see that the same way when we are visiting a node we call it recursively on its left children when this call terminates it visits all the nodes and then it terminates back to the calling node then we call on the right node it uh, again recursively the same thing will happen here so it will call on the left this subtree and then this will visit a lot of nodes every node in the left subtree and terminate back here then we will call right it will visit all the nodes in the right subtree and terminate back to here and then this entire thing will terminate back to the root so this is how it works this recursion the same concept is here so uh, we call prune tree on the main root so what it will do it will pass the same thing on children and now it's uh, it passes this function pt and 0 so I am not writing here pointer but this 0 denotes this root node so we called pt of 1 let's give them some numbers also if you want this is node 1 this is node 2 node 3 node 4 5 and 6 6 nodes are there so we call pt1 so this will call pt2 this node whose value is 0 and it will be rest assured that once this call terminates it would have already chopped out or pruned all such subtrees which are completely zeros so this is the job of now this uh, function call to take care of how this will happen F uh, at a management level what you do if a task come to a uh, senior director he forwards it to different directors under him then the director delegates the work uh, to managers respective managers and the managers delegate those work to different leads and then they are just passing whatever comes to them from upside and they are passing it to people under them and now it's your job how you get that work done it's your job I'm not bothered the same thing it here it is here this job came to prune tree to the root node it forwarded it to its 
children so in this case first it will call on this second node which has a value of 0 now it will say that you it's your task how you do it I just want all those uh, subtrees rooted under you you don't have to worry about other branches just worry about yourself and anything below you so tree is starting from you just give me the result this will again call its left child so this will call on pt this node is 4 pt 4 now it does not have a left or right child so what it will do if we reach a leaf if it's a leaf it will it will be either 0 or 1 since it's a binary the values are binary not binary tree binary tree means at max two children but the values are also binary so now we are at a leaf now root now leaf itself is a subtree with just one node so if it's one we will not chop it if it's zero we will remove it so it will return null to the calling function so this leaf belongs to some parent we don't know what its values the child does not know what is the value of this calling function but the child says that if I am one I will return back myself uh, the pointer to myself because I will exist if it's the same condition but in this case the node is zero so the node sees that I don't have left or right so I am at the lowest level I am just responsible for myself and I am zero so I need to be chopped off so it will return null to the parent so this is the main difference here so if a leaf node is 0 it will return null since it has to be cut if a leaf is 1 it will return the pointer to this node itself so if this is uh, n it will return n now this level is handled and uh, if it returned null and uh, there was no other children then this itself becomes a leaf because this is now gone but if it return the node itself now this is safe because there is something hanging from me so I am safe I cannot be chopped out because I if I am chopped out this one will go away now this is safe and uh, so what we are doing here let's say we are at a node n so what we are doing n dot left equal to prune tree of uh, this n dot left remember this function returns node star that is this function is called on a subtree rooted at root and after this call finishes it uh, returns the root of the prune subtree if there is no node it it will be null implicitly so it will be either null or it will be some value similarly n dot right equal to pt n right so these two calls we are making in each node or precisely within this function and what else we are doing if so we are blindly calling it so maybe that it's already leaf the node for which we are we have entered this function so it will call it for n dot left which will be null n dot right these will be null so if the root is null then return null so what will happen we call if it's called for a leaf it will call pt and left that is pt null so it will return null so its left will be null it was already null so for leaf these pointers are not changing anything then what else now after these two calls are made we will check that if n dot left is there or not or n dot right is there or not if any of the its branches survived if let's say for this node this node here node 3 if any of these two branches survived that is there was somewhere one in between and luckily that branch survived luckily or unluckily I don't know for example in this case node 3 this will be chopped this will return null here so after the end of this these two lines its left will be null so then it will check what did one return so one return this pointed to the node itself pointed to node 6 so now one of these condition is true so this node is safe it will not check its value irrespective of whether it's 0 or 1 even if it's was 0 it will exist because 1 is below it and it survived 
so blindly it will return the pointer to itself to its calling function so if this is the case return root whatever is the node it was called on but so if none of them was uh, uh, non null so if both of them was null then it will go past beyond that this return will not execute so we will check if root value is dot val is equal to 0 then return null because there is nothing below it and this itself is 0 so it has to return null back to the calling function but if it is not the case we will return node itself that's it as simple as traversal so what will be the time complexity just like traversing a tree we are traversing all the nodes so uh, pt1 it will call pt2 pt2 will call on this node 4 and then it will start returning and it will look at its right side nothing so it will return now it will return back this node will again call on right subtree it will call on left subtree it will call on its children which are null then return then this will call on its right subtree return so it will visit all the nodes once so time complexity is O of n where n is the number of nodes in the tree and what is space complexity uh, it can be of the order of height because if we have a very long tree all the nodes are in just one line left 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 or right 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 then this will call this one this will call this one and so on and all of these are lying in the call stack so the worst case can be in this scenario when the tree is not uh, very far from balanced then it will be O of n if tree is fairly balanced roughly log n then at max at a given point of time in the stack we will have log n nodes but we will take the worst case and it's O n for both time and space now let's write the code for this in uh, C++ Java and Python it should be very simple sometimes uh, these uh, recursion based uh, code these are written in three four lines but it takes you some time to uh, run through an example and then understand for yourself how this is working so that's why i said you should be familiar with writing recursive traversal no matter whether you're writing pre-order post order or in order and you should also understand how the nodes are getting traversed when you write that traversal code so if root is null return null pointer otherwise root left equal to so remember that analogy we are just delegating the work we received to our subordinates uh, people under us so pe people under this node is left and right children and they will get the job done for you you don't have to worry So after the, this pruning action, if any child survived, any subtree below it survived, then the node also survives. We return the root pointer, don't need to compare value. If it goes, this execution goes past this line that means this line was not hit, hit so both were null so both are null then you survive only if you are non-zero if it's zero return null else return root and that's it very simple now let's try on a, our example so 
so this uh, expected matches so let's submit and the solution is accepted and you can check uh, whether where you stand so it's where other people stand so mostly most likely people will come up with this on approach and this uh, i don't think we can do better here now let's uh, write this in java and python also in java we have just null null ptr and the java solution is also accepted finally we will write it in python and the python solution is also accepted